Hi guys, it's Kim, and my mom, Perry, came to visit me, and uh, little did she know she was going to end up in a video, but she was a trooper, and um, she did a great job. So what is the video about? It is about corrective beauty makeup for mature skin, and I think you're going to learn a lot. If you have clients that are 60 plus, um, like my mom here, Perry, who's 76, um, or if you are uh, over the age of 60, this video will really help you out. I've got some good tips for you um, on youthening and also the best choices to make for mature skin. The second video that I made, which is part two, if you look at Perry's neck and jawline, you can see a pretty significant change. I use some instant facelifts and I'll teach you how to use those. It's always important to prep your skin before applying makeup for um, for everybody, but for a skin over over 60 is even more important. Use a good under eye cream. Um, make sure and use sunscreen every day. Good, a good moisturizer um, makes a really big difference and will make the skin um, appear more youthful. When choosing foundation, um, use one like this Clinique that's a very sheer coverage. You don't want anything cakey or heavy. Um, no full coverage foundations, no drying ones. Oil-free may not be the best choice at this age. Um, just keep it very sheer. You can go a little heavier to cover any uh, broken capillaries around the nose or the mouth, but everything else, keep it light. So the next step is going to be um, concealer. I'm using this amazing cosmetic concealer. Um, what I like with my um, Real Techniques concealer brush, what I like about this concealer is that it will color correct. Um, it comes in a number of shades. You can use the very small amount. Um, it, it's highly pigmented, so it goes a long way without being, you don't have to use a lot of product that will get cakey and get caught in your lines. Um, so that's a great choice. And don't pull or tug at the eyes. Be very gentle um, around the eye area. So creating the illusion of a more youthful face, part of that is um, shading and highlighting. And I'm showing you some shading techniques here. Um, I'm using RCMA. It's a shading color. It's a cream tone. You can use any brown, brown or taupe tone that you can find. Cream is always better. So um, anyway, you're just going to darken the areas that you want the eye not to see as much, which is the jowls, the um, around the nasolabial fold. You want to kind of even out that plane, um, and that will help to lift the cheek and uh, create that illusion. Next, I'm going to um, apply a um, cream blush. You're going to notice I use the majority of my products on older skin, on mature skin, is going to be uh, cream products. Powders are drying. And again, dewy, dewy, dewy. <laughs> Can I say it enough? Um, we want to keep the skin looking hydrated and fresh. I put the blush on the apples of uh, Perry's cheeks in a pink tone. Steer clear of browns and apricots. Um, things that can make you look tired or drab. A bright pink um, is a good choice. I'm going to add powder on a big, big fluffy brush, so just a little bit of powder. Uh, this is from Three Janes. is going to go onto her face. The, the last thing you want to do is a lot of cakey um, powder. So very lightly, almost nothing, just, just so it'll uh, set the makeup without getting caught in the lines. I'm going to go into talking about the eyes. Um, this isn't going to come as a surprise to you, but I'm going to tell you to use cream colors again. Um, you're going to use a synthetic brush like this, or your finger, or whatever you want to use, but um, a cream color in a natural tone. Um, anything iridescent, or shiny, or glittery, or very colorful is going to just draw attention to the lines around your eyes. And, you know, clearly that's not what we want. You can add a little bit of a pink tone or a pale peach if you want under the brow bone as well, um, uh, which, which is nice and uh, will be attractive. I'm going to use a little bit of powder, not much, just to set the makeup. When applying eyeliner, um, you can use a pencil, but in this case I'm going to show you how to use a gel liner. 
Um, either way, your better color choices um, are going to be browns, light grays, maybe even a dark brown. But I would, um, you know, black's not such a great idea. It's a little bit too heavy and harsh. You want to keep it again, um, you know, smudgy and soft and um, kind of going up and outward, which will uh, help raise the eye. You can add a little bit um, on the underneath of the eye uh, as well, um, just for a little definition. Okay, so eyebrows. I'm just using this light uh, toned, ashy, it's like an ash brown, kind of matches her hair color, um, and an eyebrow palette from Senna. And I'm just covering up some of the gray hairs that she has and giving her a little definition. Um, again, keep things natural and simple. I'm going to use this um, mascara. It's uh, Great Lash. It's waterproof because older eyes can tear and um, just use a little bit. Um, that's all you need just for definition. On to lips. Um, I don't always advocate a lip liner, but uh, this is Revlon Color Stay. And for um, mature skin, I think it's a really good idea to line the lips. Um, it helps lipstick not bleed into the fine lines around your mouth. Use a lipstick like this Clinique um, lipstick that is moisturizing and not drying or matte. Um, great tones to use are um, pinks, reds, um, nudes and browns and apricots can just you know wash you out and make you look uh, sallow. Uh, if you're going to have color in your face, put it in your lips. Oh, and there's mom looking all refreshed and happy. Um, be sure and check out my other video um, with my mom in it um, on instant facelifts. And uh, I appreciate you, and thank you for watching. For more makeup tips and tricks, go to kimgreenmakeup.blogspot.com. To check out my cosmetic bag line, go to thekimgreenline.com.